Do I look wet? Oh, I got trash cans. I got trash cans to maneuver around, pushing my seated riding agility skills to the max. Well, that was almost an inauspicious. Uh, why am I going out to ride right now? Look at the skies. It's been thundering and all this shit, and yeah, here I am. Hey, Duff here. No, what I was gonna say was it was almost an inauspicious beginning to this video. Hopped on the um, V13, and I did not have the one pedal fully engaged. It was it was kind of up at an angle, and I stepped on, and, and I wasn't able to plant my foot the way that it should be immediately. And I almost ran into my Tacoma. I got very close to running into my Tacoma. Uh, luckily, I saved it last second. So yeah, here I am. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I know you haven't seen me on an EUC in a while. There's uh, there's there's reasons. There's reasons, but um, we can talk about things, and hopefully, we can do this without getting wet. Actually, my goal is to go to Dunkin' Donuts and get some coffee. That's that's my goal. So we can call this officially a V13 Dunkin' Donuts coffee run or something like that. Hear that thunder? Happy Labor Day, by the way. Today is Labor Day. I have, um, luckily, any labor that I had scheduled potentially for this weekend has already been done. So I'm not quite sure what my Labor Day is going to include. We will figure it out together. So I can still ride the V13 seated. Haven't done it in a while. That was another reason I wanted to take out the V13. See all these people that are able to ride seated, enjoy the, the flexibility and comfort of riding seated. And uh, this is the only wheel that I can experience that on currently. And also, uh, people have been asking me about my LS2 helmet. They say, Duff, I haven't seen you wearing the LS2 helmet lately. Do you not like it? No, I do like my LS2 helmet. I just see the LS2 helmet as something for like more lengthy rides. You know, where you're gonna be going high speeds and open roads and, you know. And of course, when you're doing a Dunkin' Donuts ride, it's helpful because you can flip it up out of the way. Um, but yeah, no, I still like my LS2 helmet. And just for a lot of the riding that I've been doing lately, uh, one of my uh, lighter weight helmets gets the job done just as well. So, yeah. LS2 is still a, a nice helmet. Rocking my 3D printed power knobs, or whatever you want to call them cruising right now about almost 40 miles an hour and it, it feels uh, just fine just fine so since my last riding video my wheel collection has changed a little bit I did sell my m10 mini uh, my m10 mini that had all of 12 miles on it yes I basically did the rain chest on the mini and very little else and uh, that I sold that uh, to a gentleman up in uh, Port Charlotte and I actually dropped it off my way to a work conference in Orlando so M10 Mini is no longer in my collection. And my M10 3 works now, so I don't really need it. I have not purchased a Sherman L. Uh, my Sherman S has been for sale for a while. I haven't gotten any serious interest on it, which isn't surprising, you know, because uh, there's a lot of people selling them right now and they're just, um, they're not moving. So it's not, it's, not, it's not the end of the world. It's not like my life revolves around getting a Sherman L. Um, if I get one, great. If, if I don't, it's, it's uh, my life will continue just as it is. So I'm not concerned about that either. But it is still for sale. I have it listed for, I think, I haven't changed the price. Originally $2,900, has less than 600 miles on it, uh, in, in near perfect condition, has uh, the seat mod, the shock cover, covers, the kinetic pads. So yeah, I'll put a picture of it there. So if you are looking for a well taken care of Sherman S, hit me up. And whenever I pass someone, I still feel better better uh, standing up. Although I could, I, I could ride by seated, but I just feel like I can react to things quicker if I am standing. Well, I know I can, so at least at this point. I know there's people that ride seated that can do pretty much anything seated that they can do standing, but I am not one of those people. Where's my phone? Oh, there's my phone. Um, hopefully the sound sounds, one of the drawbacks with the LS2 uh, from a recording perspective is the sound was a little bit muffled, the audio. And that's because there was like, a, I think it's called a breath guard or something. I think that's the way that Dawn's described. Well, no, no, because her breath guard is up high, actually. But anyways, there was a, um, like a uh, rubberized uh, material underneath the chin here. 
and that was kind of making it harder for the mic to pick up my voice, so hopefully that is better now. I won't know until I watch this back. V13 is definitely different to ride, but also enjoyable. Oh, and I, okay, here comes the rain, awesome. All right, well, remember we just did the, uh, one, of, one of the most recent videos I did was when I did the rain test on my veteran um, Patton when I rode in the tropical storm, which was, which was stupid to do, but I did it anyways. And now the V13 is getting wet. Uh, I'm hoping this is just a small area of rain because I still want to go get coffees. My goal has not shifted as of yet, but I will be wet. That is one of the positives of emotion wheels, you know, modern emotion wheels is they all have um, pretty solid water protection, official IP ratings, all that jazz. So I'm not worried about riding the V13 in the rain. As far as the wheel itself goes, I'm more worried about myself getting very wet in the rain, but that's, that's okay. I don't melt. I don't melt underwater. I try not to melt at all, actually. Do I look wet? Oh, I got trash cans. I got trash cans to maneuver around, pushing my seated riding agility skills to the max, which are not that appreciable. One thing I have sitting in the box, untouched at my house, is my new PidZoom rear view mirror. I actually forgot I ordered that months ago. I don't know, three months ago at least? It's maybe longer, it took forever. But the, I do have it now, I just haven't decided what helmet I want to test it to because all of my helmets have rear view mirrors, as you can see. Uh, which do work uh, well enough, although the pit zoom mirror should be much better. Just gotta figure out what helmet I wanna use it on. So unlike uh, when I rode in the tropical storm where I did actually try to take some provisions to keep the DJI wireless mic set up dry, I wrapped it in a poop bag, <laughs> you might remember. Um, I don't have any of those provisions in place now, so I'm hoping the wireless mic is okay. I'm trying to, I was gonna do just some extra distance back that way, but that way is kind of where the darker clouds are and more consistent rain is. So I'm I kind of, I'm just trying to do a more direct route to Dunkin' Donuts, even though I could use the time on the road. I could use the time on the road. You know, riding is, is a good way to kind of, I don't know, clear your thoughts maybe? I don't know, just, just kind of, grounds me in some ways, some weird ways. And uh, I could definitely use that. So I would like to ride a little bit longer if I could. So we'll see if the weather cooperates. Just passed a guy coming at me riding a bike, holding an umbrella. I don't know, I don't know, have I ever seen anyone doing it on an electric unicycle do that? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm holding a selfie stick. I guess I could hold an umbrella. I guess the problem is with the higher speeds on it, you see, you get the angle wrong, that thing's gonna catch, it, catch wind and uh, fly out of your hand or pull you off the wheel, so. It would take a little bit of practice, I think. But V13 is uh, just getting the job done. As usual, sp speed on this, just it, it's very easy. We're doing 30s and it doesn't feel like anything. Speaking of the V13, I have seen there's several uh, places advertising like even lower pricing on a V13. I think the lowest I might've seen is $2,900 maybe for a new V13. And to me, that's kind of a bargain for what you get. Um, yeah, it's a 50 mile range wheel, but it, it's, it's a very comfortable cruiser. And unless you need to go ultra long distance, uh, the V13 is a really nice road cruiser. Probably the favorite were of uh, the favorite wheel I have just for cruising at this point. And the Sherman, Sherman S is a great wheel for that too, but I can't sit on the Sherman S. So that's why the V13 has taken that top spot. Unfortunately, the rain situation is not getting better. It's actually getting slightly worse, but we will persevere because that's what we do. Okay, big puddle, big puddle. Um, right now, um, the rain has stopped over here. I'm, I'm about uh, a quarter mile from Dunkin' Donuts, so it has stopped. Hopefully it remains that way. Now look at my hair, oh my God. It's nice to see they finally upgraded the tables out here. If you've seen me at Dunkin' Donuts before, they had these um, metal tables that were very shitty. And it's like the welds that held it to the center pole had broken, so the whole table was pivoting. All of them were doing that, and now they've replaced them with solid, solid stone sitting areas, which is much better. So good job, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, about halfway done, I'll probably drink the rest of it riding. I'm just trying to debate 
how much I want to push my luck as far as uh, riding in the rain. I don't know. It's not raining now, obviously. Lots of pondering going on, and not just about rain. Yes, I installed the Timu Blue, uh, Bluetooth helmet system in here. Can you hear this? It's in there, but it's, I don't know, it's not, it's not a great system, and it's not that comfortable, so it, I might wind up ripping it out. Yeah, the biggest issue I have with the, uh, the, blue, the Bluetooth system I have in this is the, the um, speakers are, I don't, I don't know what the standard size is, but they feel like they're a little big, so I have to really stretch the helmet out to get it sitting comfortably on my ears. Otherwise, it pinches and doesn't feel great, so right now it feels good. But uh, that is one drawback. But of course the cost was great because it was like $20. <laughs> and it does work. Sounds decent. Uh, allows me to do phone stuff, phone calls and all that kind of stuff. So for the money, it's A-OK. -okay. So I'm heading, um, heading up towards the pickleball courts, which is close to my house. So that way I figure if it does start to rain a lot, I can just uh, bail. Bail and uh, head home. That's, uh, that's the thought. So anyways, like I've said, I've had a number of people ask me, hey, what's up, where you been, blah, 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 no live streams, not a lot of videos. And I've just, there's, there's, there's stuff going on behind the scenes. Um, I posted on uh, Instagram, I guess. It was an old picture from the old house of my calisthenics bar park. And the way that picture was uh, situated, I was standing behind the bars and there was these angles that were created beyond, uh, between the, the vertical pole that supported the high bar that I had, as well as my pull-up bar and my parallel bars. All these intersections. And I used it, it, it kind of it clicked in my head that, yeah, intersections are an important part of, of your life, right? There are certain points where you choose to go left or right. And if you go, go one direction, there's one outcome. If you go another direction, there's another outcome. Of course, no outcomes are ever uh, guaranteed. You don't know what the outcome is. You know, we don't walk around uh, being able to predict the future, only trying to point things in the direction that you hope will lead to a favorable outcome. And I've had a bunch of those intersections in my life. And there's, um, you know, and, and there's been, you know, some recent big intersections, you know, relationship related, moving. That was a huge decision, huge decision um, that luckily the end result of that choice at that intersection is positive. I'm very happy with where I am now. So it's just about it's, it's, it's a hard thing to navigate. Right. And, and of course, I'm not unique in this. Everybody has this situation where you got to make a decision of how you want your uh, your life to go. And. Those decisions matter. Those decisions should not be taken lightly. And I don't know. Do you ever get good at them? I don't know. Do you ever get good at, at that process? I don't know. I, I definitely wouldn't call myself good at it. That being said, I think all in all, I'm pretty fortunate with the way that my decisions have worked out thus far, even though I've made a ton of mistakes. A ton. And I will continue to make mistakes. But overall, I think I'm in an okay position despite those mistakes. So what is to be learned from this? Uh, it depends on, on your perspective. Maybe you're in a similar situation where you feel like you're inside or, or approaching or near an intersection or just past one, maybe. I don't know, maybe, maybe you're one of those fortunate people that feels like they're on a straightaway, a straightaway where uh, they, they are happy with where they are at. They don't have to necessarily worry about deviating from that path at least not in the foreseeable future, and things are good. I've, had the, I've been in that situation. I, I've been there, and that is a good feeling. Uh, but it is not the only situation that you're going to run into. So, so yeah, so if that, uh, uh, probably the, the, the best, the best uh, outcome of, of this is, uh, this, this was confusing, right? It's confusing. <laughs> I'm, I, I, uh, I have confusing thoughts at times, and uh, that's just part of, part of what it is. That's part of, that's, I don't know. I'm rambling, so yeah. If you want more detail, um, I don't know. Maybe you'll get it later, maybe you won't. But after that nonsensical rant, um, the good news is it, is it is not currently raining, so that's good. The bad news is, is with the helmet in the up position, I do not have my mirror, access to my mirror. So I need to turn to see my blind spots. And I'm not great at that. 
I guess I don't know if I have poor neck neck flexibility, shoulder flexibility. I don't know. I'm not I'm not great at doing that. That's one of the reasons that riding backwards is not that easy for me because it's not that, e that easy for me to look over my shoulder going backwards. Because you see the guys that are good at it, they can they can they can twist like a like a freaking ostrich. I am not in that class. There are a few diehards here at the pickleball courts. Uh, they're a little wet from the rain, but yeah, there they are people here. I've already played, let's see, I played pickleball Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so. I was, I was considering doing it today, but uh, I just, um, I don't know, didn't want to press my luck. I got through those three days without significant uh, physical impact, so I was just going to call it good. You know, quit while you're ahead. Sometimes, sometimes I'm a subscriber to that theory, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes, sometimes I'm ahead and I'll, I'll push it, and then uh, I'm no longer ahead. Uh, at the end of it so see the great thing about having coffee is you know when <coughs> when you run out of words when you run out of words just take a sip stats for the ride so far uh, of course this is all wheel stuff um, 40 mile an hour top speed 12 mile ride so far yeah I could use some more miles this is another thing I love about the V13 is you know it basically has the app built into the screen it's super cool Anonymous mode engaged. This feels good to be out here. Back to seated. It is nice having this option. That's a big bump. Okay, I'm now on a Bayshore. Bayshore Boulevard, right? On Bayshore, this uh, this is not a street you see me on very often. I don't know that you've ever have ever filmed being on this because I don't I just don't ride it very much. Uh, but we are today because we are just trying to spend time out on the wheel. We're gonna go wherever the skies look less foreboding, and uh, this direction seems okay right now. I've had some people ask me uh, what I thought of the Blitz, the Go Blitz, which has been uh, Ronan reviewed it. Sean has it. Uh, Marty just got the Blitz. Uh, I think I think for what it does, I mean, it, it's a it's a, a light wheel, great power, great torque. Oh, wrong way has one as well, Adam, and he's loving it, you know, for jumping and stuff. And and I mean, I think for people that are at the high end of the performance chain that that are looking for something that goes fast or our racers, um, has a lot of suspension travel and, and it doesn't cost as much as uh, some of the wheels that are out there nowadays. So that those are all positive things. Uh, there, there's some ergonomic things about the Blitz that don't make a lot of sense, but overall, the Blitz seems like a good wheel. Do I need to buy one? No, no, of course not. But uh, seems like a good wheel. I'm clearly being watched. <laughs> not unusual, not unusual. Now I'm passing, I'm passing my watcher so they can watch me from the rear. It's so nice to have a wheel that I actually feel comfortable sitting on for long periods of time. Like I, I tried sitting on other wheels and like I remember I used to sit on the, on my original Monster and I could do it, but it wasn't that comfortable and I would only do it for very brief periods of time. With the V13, I can, I can sit my ass down and stay there pretty much as long as I want it seems. So that is, it's weird after eight years of riding that <laughs> that I've uh, been able to experience that for the first time, but yeah, it's nice, it's nice. That's why, uh, you know, there's guys out there that they you'll see them riding seated more than standing. And I get it, I get it. Just realized I have a bike lane down here. Why am I not using it? Why am I on the sidewalk when I have a bike lane? Some of you may say safety, right? Well, that's, that's a good point, that's a good point. Oh, speaking of safety, there's a guy on, uh, the, I think the original post was on the Electric Unicycle Org, group in Facebook. He was riding his S22 Pro uh, with no gear and 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 I guess the gear police swooped in and were kind of chastising him for not wearing gear, uh, any gear, and I guess he was doing kind of aggressive riding. And then he did a video where he justified him not wearing gear saying he's, yeah, he's very well experienced in falling. He knows how to fall. So because he knows how to fall, he doesn't feel like he needs to wear gear. And of course, you know, if, if you ask me my opinion, I, I would say I don't agree. I don't agree. But 
I also had the opinion that I don't really care. Um, I don't care if, if someone if someone makes that choice for themselves. And this is different than my opinion was years ago. I used to I used to kind of advocate for other people doing other things that that made more sense. But I, I, I don't do that much anymore. And and this is this is just another case. Like if, if you don't want to wear gear, uh, that's fine. As long as if you are not wearing gear, you fall and you hurt yourself in a significant manner. That's on you, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll be. I'll, I'll, I won't be happy that you fell, um, but if you fell and you got injured, but you have no one to blame but yourself, right? So that's kind of my opinion on it. There, there was again, there was there was people that were chastising him for that, and people that were in the uh, you know camp similar to me. Do what you want. Marty being one of them. Marty's very much that way as well. So yeah, me, I will wear gear. I don't. I, I wouldn't say that I know how to fall. I think, <laughs> I mean, I've, I've fallen, but not, not like a lot of people, and you know, not, not nearly the amount of times as other people have fallen, so I wouldn't say I'm adept at falling. So because I'm not adept at falling, I would rather have a gear safety net to minimize the end result if I would happen to fall. I've sort of backtracked here, kind of where I was, and I just realized I have another opportunity here for additional mileage by going into Sugden Park and just uh, trucking around that, that uh, I don't know, it's a mile and a half course or something like that inside. Why not? Might as well. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, Roger posted in the, uh, the his Roger Charger Telegram group uh, the beta test of his app. He has an app for iOS. Like one of the, the negatives, at least for me, because I'm an iOS user, is the support for iOS with the, the original native app uh, was clunky and it just, it just didn't work great. Now he has a app for iOS. Right now you need something called Test Flight, I guess, to run it because it's a beta product. But when it becomes a full iOS app, that won't be the, the case. But it connects to the charger via Bluetooth and then allows you to set all your settings on the phone, like the old app could do, but functional <laughs> in iOS. And in there, you can build profiles. You can uh, you can also have preset charging options, like you can only charge a wheel to 60%, like if you're gonna store it for a while, or full charge. Um, when you put in the type of wheel, it knows what, what the voltage is of it, which is nice. And it worked well. When I, I charged the V13 with it yesterday, actually, and I used the app to, to do all the settings, it worked great. So I think that's another strong reason to look at the Roger chargers. Performs great. Good. I have the SC, the small form factor one, and uh, I really like it a lot. This is a nice place to ride. Actually, this would be a great place for me to, to ride over with my, uh, my one wheel. This is, this is a great path for the one wheel. I've done it a few times. Not enough, but this is really a great one wheel terrain. So I need to put that on the short list. I actually took my one wheel with me to the work conference I was at in Orlando last week. And um, was it last week? Yeah, yeah, it was. And uh, I had it in the trunk of the Tesla, but I never actually got the opportunity to ride it because we had other things going on, unfortunately. So I have not ridden my one wheel GT in months. And uh, I'm not proud to say that because I do love it. The more I'm out here in the V13, the, the less my desire is to push myself financially to get a Sherman L, really. I mean, it, I, I've always in the past, you know, the, the desire to have cutting edge, latest and greatest has always been, you know, a driving force in some situations because, you know, who doesn't want to have the latest and greatest? But <clears throat> with wheels like the Sherman L costing $4,500, it's, it's no longer a flippant decision to buy one, unless you're Marty, of course. You know, if, 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 I, if I step out of, of wants and then I step into the world of needs, do I need a Sherman L? No, 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 I do not. The wheels I have more than satisfy my, uh, my desires as far as riding goes. So I don't know, Let's see if I can stay in that mindset. If, if I sell my Sherman S, someone buys it, then maybe I would reconsider it, but I'm not gonna uh, drive myself crazy trying to get one. Looking at the onboard display, looks like I have burned about 25% of battery. So uh, based on my prior range 
rides, uh, that would work out to be roughly, I don't know, 12 and a half miles? Doesn't, uh, okay, well that, that's actually, because I was at 12 miles of Dunkin' Donuts, so yeah, we're actually doing pretty good battery-wise right now. Okay, I am finally resigning myself to heading back to the household. Yeah, it's fine. Someday I'd need to ride back out to my old house again and do that roughly 50 mile ride. I haven't done that in a little while. I think that's what I need. Just not today. But I did just realize I haven't eaten lunch yet and uh, I'm right by Wawa, so I'm going to take care of that uh, task as well. More efficient that way. I love efficiency. Mission accomplished. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Good ride. Said, uh, well, on the wheel, it says I did 23 miles. It's probably closer to 20, if not less than that, but good ride. Felt good to get out there. Lots of subjects covered and uh, take what you want out of it. Who knows? I don't even know how to summarize or describe exactly uh, the theme of the ride, but it worked for me, so that's all that really matters, right? So if you found this uh, video interesting, entertaining, um, strange, <laughs> confusing, hey, whatever. Please think about giving it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're gonna subscribe, hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Uh, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Uh, huge thanks to my channel members. Uh, I haven't checked probably in the last week, but I believe I'm still holding at 23 or 24 channel members. Uh, right here they are. Thank you, channel members. And also, I did want to take a second. This is something that I that I haven't really done, but just if you've watched the entire video and you're here at the end of the video, thank you. Because you know so many people, attention spans nowadays uh, in the world we live in are about that big. So if you actually say to the end of the video, thank you for that as well. I think that's all I have for now. I hope you have a great Labor Day. Um, maybe your weather's a little better than here, because <clears throat> again, it looks like it could rain at any time, but uh, hopefully, sunny skies are ahead for you and for everybody. I hope sunny skies are in your future for you, for me, for um, anyone that we care about. So that's all I have for now. Till next time, Duffman. Baby, are you done hiding? I'm surprised she's out here. When I left her, she was, yes, I'm surprised you're here. When I left, she was um, in my office underneath her dog bed. I had her dog bed under my office or under my desk. Let me just show you. Elsa, let's show them where you were hiding when I left. She was scared because of the thunder and all that kind of stuff. So when she's scared, I put the dog bed under my, under my desk for her to sit on. But in this case, she was underneath it actually. That, that was an extra layer of protection. All right, baby? All right? You feel better now? Okay. Okay, good.